Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Salim Hassani, and I'm your host for this program, From Birth Until Death. In the previous episodes, we've been discussing this, the rulings pertaining to the newborn child, and in particular, in the last two episodes, we've been discussing breastfeeding and the certain rulings that apply to that. With us today, once again, is Sheikh Haytham al Haddad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you today, Sheikh? Alhamdulillah, jazakallah khair. Barakallah khair. Sheikh, in the previous episodes, we were talking about um, breastfeeding and the, and the relationship that has or that takes upon not only the, the mother or the person that has breastfed the child, but also if she was to be married. So we're just going to continue on with that, if that's okay with you. Yes, bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. We introduced that uh, principle that is known as laban al-fahl. Yes. The milk of the man. Yes. Or the milk belongs to the man. Yes. And we said that. And I gave this example just to make it easy for the audience. Yes. Uh, I have my wife and children. Yes. My wife is feeding my children. Yes. And then you are a child. Yes. Has been fed by my wife. Yes. Okay. Then you are a child becomes her son. Yes. By breastfeeding, of course. And he also becomes my son. Yes. Out of breastfeeding. Yes. He becomes my son. Yes. So what does that mean? It means that my brother will be the uncle of your child. Correct, yes. And this is the incident that took place with Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Right. Okay, so the uh, brother of the man who was married to the lady mm -hmm. that breastfed Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, he came to Aisha and he said, I am your uncle. Yes. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, but your brother did not give me milk. Yes. Your brother's wife, wife. Mm -hmm. was the one who gave me milk. Yes. So uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Innahu ammuki. Mm. He is your uncle. Yes. And this uh, concept is widely accepted by most of the scholars. Still some differences. Well, I don't want to get into them because uh, they might confuse our audience. Sure. But generally speaking, this is accepted. Okay. Now, what does that mean uh, when we talk about consequences? Yes. Uh, it means that when I become the father of your child, the Prophet Sallallahu said, يَحْرُمُ مِنَ الرَّضَى مَا يَحْرُمُ مِنْ النسب. Yes. What is forbidden by nasab, by lineage, will be forbidden by breastfeeding. Yes. Why, what is forbidden, and this is, subhanAllah, a very profound statement. Uh, and it is a principle itself. And it has been reported by Aisha, Ali bin Abi Talib, and so on. Okay. That uh, what is prohibited by lineage yes. will be prohibited by rada'ah. By the breastfeeding. By breastfeeding. So, now, my brother will be the uncle of your son. Yes. Or your child. Yes. My father will be what? Your father would then be the grandfather. The grandfather of your child. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I hope that this is clear. Yes. And of course, my sister will be what? The auntie of your child. A yeah, child. child. Yes. Now, I hope that the brothers and sisters are aware of this point. Now, let me just go one step further. Okay. My daughters or my children will become your uh, child, brothers and sisters. Yes. Now, people will say, why are you mentioning this in particular? Because my children are the children from my wife. Yes. That has gave milk to your son. Yes. No, not only this. Imagine that I was married to two wives. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope that my wife does not listen to this and she <laughs> might... I think that I'm truly married and she will give me a hard time. Imagine I'm married to two wives. Yes. Wife A, wife B. Yes. Wife A is the one who gave milk to your a child. Okay. So her children will become what? Will become your child's brothers and sisters. Yes. Now I became the father of your a child. Yes. As a result of this, my children from wife B, yes. because they are my children, and I am their father, and I am your 
son's father as yes. well yes or your child's father yes so i am the father of all right so your child becomes what becomes becomes a brother or a sister for yeah. my children from my other wife right okay okay so this is uh, the ruling of laban al fahl right or the milk of the man okay in in in, in fact if we just uh, want to elaborate on this, of course, there are some other rulings mm. uh, that can be extracted from this. But I would like to mention uh, a, a, a question that is always posed as a quiz mm. yeah, in, in, uh, in competitions. They say that a person, a child, suckled from a lady, but she does not become his mother okay how they said that uh, a child a child suckled uh, uh, sorry of course we can say that the answer uh, for this is easy mm -hmm. it means that he did not suckle enough yes no they said that the question is a child suckled from uh, from a lady Yet he does not have a mother by breastfeeding. Okay. He already suckled. Yes. But he does not have a mother by breastfeeding. Okay. And he suckled, okay, he suckled, uh, uh, he suckled in a way that he became a son for a father, yet he does not have a mother. Okay. By breastfeeding. They said that a person, let us take my example again. Uh, imagining that I'm married to two wives. Yes. Wife A and wife B. Yes. Your son. Yes. Uh, wife A. Yes. My first wife. Yes. Breastfed him for two times only. Okay. And then my second wife breastfed him for three times. Okay. Or more than that. Right. Just the three times. Let us say three times in order to make it simple. Okay. In total your son yes was breastfed by my milk for how many times five times five times yes but your son was breastfed by my first wife two times yes so according to the jumhur she is not his mother correct yes and the other wife gave him milk three meals yes and according to the opinion of uh, the jumhur yes. the majority of his scholars this is not enough to make her his mother. Mother, yes. So, as a result of them, uh, as a result of this, neither of them become what become the mother mm. of your child. Right. Despite the fact both of them what fed him. Yes. But he becomes what. He becomes your son. He becomes my son. Yes. Okay. Now, the children from this wife and this wife they do not become his brothers and sisters because he suckled from their mother. No, they become his brothers and sisters because he, they suckled with him from my milk. Yes, so it's because of you. Because of me, Yes. not because of my wife's. Right. So this is, this is one of the uh, consequences. Of course, there are some other questions. They say, what is that question? A person says, my brother got married to my sister mm. okay let us not co get uh, into this otherwise the audience will be confused and we sure. have maybe some other points to cover okay jazakallah khair for explaining that sheikh uh, we're on the topic of consequences we just uh, we've been talking about them is there anything other consequences you'd like to mention at all <sighs> yes uh, so we we said that the main consequence is what is mentioned yeah. in hadith uh, the Prophet sallallahu when he said that what is prohibited by lineage will be prohibited by uh, breastfeeding. Yes. Now, they said that this hadith does not talk about other types of tahrim, other types of uh, haram relationship between uh, between the, 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 the uh, uh, ladies and men. Okay. Uh, in another word, you know, Tahrim mm -hmm. or Mahramiya, as they say, Mahramiya means this lady 
is haram for this man. Yes. So he becomes mahram for her. Okay. There are three ways to make this mahramiyah, this okay. kind of relationship. Lineage. Yes. Lineage. Uh, blood lineage. Yes. And breastfeeding. Yes. And the third one is musahara, marriage. Marriage, yes. Okay. Now, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the hadith that we just mentioned, he mentioned what? Lineage only. Yes. He did not mention what? He don't mention it at all. Marriage. Yes. So, he said that breastfeeding yes. is equal to what? To marriage. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, lineage. Marriage. Lineage, yes. It is not equal to marriage. Yes. So now, marriage, is it included mm. in as a reason uh, to make mahramiyah because of breastfeeding or not? I'll right. give some examples. Uh, I have, okay, let us take the example of your son yes. who becomes uh, my son okay. because out of breastfeeding. Yes. Your son grew up and he got married. Yes. Now, my son, my blood son by lineage, yes. if he got married, his wife is what? Is haram for me. Yes. And there is mahramiya yes. between me and her. Yes. I am her mahram. Yes. But what about your son that I became his father by breastfeeding? Mm. Okay. Yes, yes. The Jumhur, most of the scholars believe that, no, I do not become mahram for your son's wife. Right. So I cannot see her. Yes. Okay. 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 Similarly, b why? Because uh, my uh, my in my my uh, my daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. she became haram to me mm -hmm. or for me, out of what? Out of marriage. Yes. Not because of lineage. Yeah. And we said that there are three types. The first type is what lineage, yes. blood. The second is breastfeeding, and the third one is what the marriage, musahara, yes. which is marriage. Yes. So she became haram for me out of what? Out of musahara, out mm. of marriage. Yes. So they said that this is not included in the hadith because the Prophet Sallallahu said, يَحْرُمُ مِنَ الرَّضَاعِ مَا يَحْرُمُ مِنَ النَّسَبِ Lineage and rada'ah. Yes. Lineage and breastfeeding. Yes. He did not mention uh, right. tahreem in general or uh, tahreem because of marriage. Yes. Okay. So in this case again, your son, who is my son by breastfeeding, yes. if he got married... Okay, JazakAllah Khair Shaykh for your time. We're just going to take a short break and then when we come back we'll continue the discussion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome back after the break to this program from birth until death. We're just going to continue now as we've been doing and looking at breastfeeding. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shaykh, before the break, we were talking about some of the consequences, and you were in the, in the, in the middle of giving an example about some of the consequences of, of breastfeeding and the difference between lineage and marriage. If we could just uh, continue with that for the moment. Yeah. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. We gave the example, and I think now it is clear that your child, who is my child, out of breastfeeding, yes. if he got married, then his wife his wife, who is, mah who is haram for you yes. because he is your son by lineage. Mm -hmm. But she will not become haram for me because your son, who is my son, is what? My son out of breastfeeding. Yes. So his wife will not become haram for me and I will not become mahram for her. Yes. Similarly, similarly, uh, they said that if I get married, this uh, if I get married yes. myself to uh, a lady, and her mother, her mother, normally her mother becomes haram. Uh, uh, sorry, if I get married to a lady, yes, then that lady, that lady, does it become haram for my son by breastfeeding? Ah, oh, okay. Okay? Yes. I hope that the matter is clear. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? So, so um, 
Uh, anyway, we don't want to confuse the, our uh, viewers, but what we want to say that there is a difference between haram by or mahramiya by lineage and by breastfeeding. Yes. And we said, let us remember the three uh, main reasons or the three reasons for making the mahramiya. Yes. Lineage, yes. breastfeeding, and marriage. Yes. Breastfeeding is equal to lineage. lineage. Yes. And it is not equal to marriage. marriage. Right. Follow stop. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh, for explaining this very tricky topic, which is often difficult to, to sometimes get your head around. Mm. And now we've just uh, been talking about um, breastfeeding and, and, and the consequences as well. Often sometimes you, you, you hear of sometimes a woman may express some milk and then give that milk to another baby, but it's not directly from, from her breast as such. Does this have any particular consequences or, or, or rulings? Yeah, this is a good question, and uh, it is a very common question. And uh, they said, almost all scholars said that the ruling is not connected to suckling. Mm. The ruling is connected to what? Being fed by the milk. Mm, the milk, okay. So if she, uh, if she uh, what you call, uh, produced or what is the best way to describe it? Take the milk out or? To express the milk. Uh, to express the milk, sorry. Mm. To express the milk in any container and mm. she just gave it to the child and the child or in a bottle and the, the, the child started to uh, be fed from the bottle, yes. not from the breast itself. Yes. Then the ruling is established. Okay. And almost there is no difference of opinions between scholars regarding this. Except, of course, there are some odd opinions in yes. each case, but generally speaking, this is the established ruling. Okay, Jazakallah khair. And often another common question we find is that sometimes the milk may be mixed with some other substances or, or something else. Mm. Uh, yeah. How does this impact? Yes, uh, some, some mothers, uh, they say that their children do not accept any other milk. Mm -hmm. Or uh, other children, they do not accept their milk mm. unless they put, for example, honey or something yeah. um, of different taste. Yes. So, uh, for example, if they, if they express the milk, in a bottle and they added some sugar some honey will that change the ruling no it does not change the ruling okay it does not change the ruling by the way uh, you remember when we said that it should be five meals yes now how do we calculate five meals if the son if mm. the child is suckling from the bottle mm. we said uh, in terms of uh, from the breast itself yes the child has to Suckle, suckle, suckle until himself feels enough and leave it. Yes. This is considered, according to the opinion of most of the scholars, as one. Yes. Not, uh, he is not uh, removed by his mother. Yes. No, no. He fed by himself until he is full or yes. she is full. Yes. And then he moved away to, for example, to breathe or to relax and yes. then he went again. Yes. So these are considered to be two suckles. Yes. Now, in terms of the bottle, mm. again, if the child, if the child start to suck and suck and suck, and then he left the bottle by himself, we have not removed it. Yes. Ourselves, then that is considered to be one meal or one suckle. Right. So if he had five out of those, yes. then uh, the the rule will be established. Okay. Even if the milk has been mixed with some other thing. Now, we have to be careful. Uh, if the milk is very, very little, mm. and the substance, the, 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 um, the main substance is formula yes. or, you know, other milk, yes. and they just put a little bit of the milk, then if that milk that has been added by the mother is neglected compared to the formula that has been given, to the child, then that might not have the same ruling unless this process has been repeated so many times to conclude that the child was fed five complete meals by the milk of that lady. Okay. All right. Jazakallah khair uh, once again, Sheikh. Um, now, we also hear about milk banks where the milks are stored. How does this relate in this matter? Yeah, this is, this is, a, this is, 
This is a very interesting concept. Um, of course, this is uh, this is a very strange mm. uh, concept. And I remember, by the way, uh, I was uh, studying with uh, Sheikh Ibn Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, and we came to the topic of breastfeeding. Mm. And then um, I asked him about this question. I don't mm. know why I asked him about this question, because I read it somewhere or something. So I asked him about this question. And the, the Sheikh, rahimahullah, did not like this question. Oh. Did not like this question. And then he said the other question, the coming question. Okay. And uh, uh, this, is, this was a long time ago. Now, uh, but there are some studies now by um, the, the, the um, uh, OIC councils, mm. fiqh councils, right. regarding bunuk al-halib. They call it bunuk al-halib mm. or milk banks. Yes. And they said that, generally speaking, that should not be established. Oh, okay. okay? If there is a real need for it, that can be established. But if the person can avoid mm. using it, that is better because it will mix between what between what is haram, what is halal. Right. Because many women they will provide milk, yes. and then the children will start be fed by that milk, yes. and then we will not be able to know who is who, yes. who belongs to. Yes. So that should be really avoided. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, some scholars even, I think Sheikh Ibn Uthameen said that it is haram. Right. Because of what it may lead to. Okay. And alhamdulillah, now, you know, we have the formula, we have other types yeah, of yeah. milk that can be fed to the children. Okay, alhamdulillah. Mm. So, so in general, it's something we should try and avoid. And, and yes, and definitely. Try. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Now, in, uh, with regards to breastfeeding in this topic, we mentioned that, that it can often be for a, a lengthy period of time. Now, sometimes there are some um, women who maybe haven't performed Hajj, or maybe they've, for some reason, they haven't been able to, and maybe the time has come where they've been able to now perform Hajj, yet they are breastfeeding. So, um, what do we do in this situation, Sheikh? We've only got one minute, I've just been told. Uh, anyway, if they can provide their <coughs> food for their children by yes. any other mean or give yes. their children to be fed by other ladies, yes. of course they can do this. Okay. Otherwise, they should delay the Hajj. Okay. Jazakallah khair for this very short answer, Sheikh. And uh, this is the conclusion of another episode. Uh, inshallah, in the further episodes, we'll be looking once again at the newborn and um, the upbringing, and we'll be going further into the life of the newborn. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.